Raider Nation. Yeah. What'd it do? Real time Raiders back up in this motherfucker. How y'all feeling? You know? It's been a minute. It's been about three months since y'all seen a motherfucker like me. Been out here getting to it. You know? Improvements, man. Steps. Life. Doing shit, you know what I'm saying? Been taking them steps, bruh. So I've been out working, doing my shit, getting to the money. But I've been keeping my eye to the streets. I've been keeping my ears to the streets. Seeing what the fuck going on with these Raiders, man. I ain't went nowhere. And uh, I must say, man, a couple of the moves that we've been making this offseason, Marcus Peters, yeah. I mean, yeah, I wish it would have happened a few years ago instead of now. Motherfucker like 30 years old, 30-something plus years old or some shit like that. Uh, I mean, right now, cool. I'm with it because we need playmakers. I mean, at this point, I don't give a fuck if you're 60 years old. If you can make a play on a fucking ball, come play for this fucking defense, please. So I'm cool with the Marcus Peters signing for sure. I'm cool with that shit for surely. Uh, Aiden O'Connell. Let's get right to it, bro. We played our first preseason game yesterday against the fucking San Francisco 49ers. Wow. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something, man, about real time Raiders. I'm optimistic. I'm happy. What I saw yesterday, it impressed the fuck out of me. I was with it. I loved it. I loved it. I love the direction. I love the energy. I love all of that shit. But I'm scarred, motherfuckers. I'm scarred and I'm torn because I know how we rock. Every year, preseason, we look like Super Bowl contenders in the preseason. But when it comes to them regular fucking games, when it comes to when it really fucking counts, what the fuck happens? I don't know. I don't. I don't understand. I don't know. Just fucking complete chaos. So um, I had my reservations after the game was over. I mean, shit. We seen what we saw. I I had different expectations from preseason. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all do as well. Y'all don't. Y'all pretty much don't watch the game no more. Y'all just watch for certain players and see what they do. It, and if I'm wrong, correct me. Get in the comment section and let me know. Do you really give a fuck about the preseason like that? Because if you do, then that's you. That's cool. That's cool. But I pretty much just use preseason as evaluations. You know what I'm saying? Who going to make a play? Who going to jump off the screen and be like, oh, I, we need to take a look at that guy? That's all I use preseason for. So let's start with Amari Bernie. I already know. I'm going to get back to Aiden O'Connor. I'm going to get back to him. I'm gonna, I don't know I'm jumping, but I'm going to get back to him. Start with Amari Bernie, 5'6". We need to go ahead and take a look at that dude. <laughs> that motherfucker is nice. All right? I like I like, uh, I like like Bernie, 5'6". He, he is nice. He's with that smoke. I mean, he should have had that fucking interception yesterday. I ain't gonna get, he should have caught that shit. Damn, you should have caught that, bro. But, hey, you was there. I'll take it. A PBU is better than a fucking completed catch on this side. Give me, give me the, give me the uh, PBU, man. But you need to get to that fucking drugs machine quick. But um, Amari Bernie, yeah, man, my hats off to you, bro. For sure, we need to go ahead and uh, evaluate that dude a little bit more. Uh, who else is over there? Sam Webb. I like Sam Webb. Sam Webb made a couple plays. You know what I mean? He even got a pick. Damn near ran that motherfucker back. You know what I'm saying? We need all the ball hawking motherfucking safeties and corners. We need we need all of those motherfuckers that can catch the ball. You know what I'm saying? And take that shit back to the other side. If we can do that, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Now the defensive line, holy fuck. Again, but this this is how we be looking in preseason, y'all. I swear to God, preseason will be coming out whooping motherfuckers' asses. But I got to hold it down. The def defensive line, Neil Farrell. Bruh. <laughs> they call that boy Thick Frame. <laughs> hey, bruh. Neil Farrell. 
He's with that smoke, man. I like it. I like it, bro. We need to keep that shit up. The offensive side of the ball. Zamir White. Let's talk about you, man. I have high hopes for Zamir White. I have it in my mind that maybe he just needs to run behind the starting offensive line. But I don't know. I don't know. It just, I don't know. I don't. I don't want my my expectations in my um, my fandom to get in the way. Cause I, I'm a fan of Zamir White. I, I would like that motherfucker to go somewhere. Plus, I picked him up for my fantasy team. So if Josh Jacobs don't sign, we need. A, hey man, we hey, we need you to get your shit together, bro. So I got a little bit of bias in this shit. You know what I mean? But at the end of the motherfucking day, I'm not gonna lie. He did not look like that. He did not look like. He did not look like, okay, we can let Josh Jacobs go and we'll be all right. He didn't look explosive, bro. He didn't He didn't look like he had the vision or the speed. I don't know what the fuck it was, bro. The wiggle, I don't know what it was. But I can tell when Amir Abdul uh, Abdullah got in the game, he was more explosive. I mean, he could turn, even his little fucking four, five-yard runs looked more explosive than anything that Zamir White did. And it, it was stupid. Even sincere, uh, sincere McCormick, he even looked more explosive. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Make first preseason game. It is what it is. Go, go back, readjust, see what you can do. Come back and do your thing again. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap. I didn't see it. I didn't see it from Zamir White, bro. I did not. I did not see that shit. Like, nah, not at all. That's like Josh Jacobs. He, he's, he's gaining his leverage right now with that shit because. That was not that was not good. I mean, I know he scored a touchdown, but it it wasn't like that, bro. It, it, nah, nah, nah. You need, we need we need to figure that out. Zamir, come on, man, get your shit together, bro. Um, who else we got over there um, on the offensive side of the ball, man? That that really 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 stood out. Trey Tucker. Let's talk about him. Trey Tucker. This motherfucker's got the speed, boy. Hey, man. Drive safe, motherfucker. All right? That's all I know. <laughs> Just drive safe. Slow your ass down. Don't drink and drive. I swear to God. Kick the fuck back. All right? But the boy got some speed. The boy's nice. He just got to know how to catch that fucking man. I thought he had it, but when I saw the replay the first time, I was like, oh, shit, that hit the ground like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't get that. But he, hey, he was there. He beat his man. He can't stretch the field. That's when he, Trey Tucker can stretch the fucking field. Um, when we get Adams out there and, and, and uh, Michael Mayer and uh, Jacoby Myers out there, bro, he's gonna be able. He's gonna be nice. He's gonna be a piece as long as he can get the he can catch the fucking ball. You know what I mean? But he, the speed is that he can he can get open and he can get down the field. So I like Trey Tucker. Now let's get to him, man. Aiden O'Connell, I picked this motherfucker up on my fantasy team, like, right after the fucking rookie draft, and I just stashed him on my fucking, my taxi squad, like, the motherfucker's just been sitting there, and, you know, it's been, it's been kind of, uh, you know, rough explaining to the homies and explaining to the people why I got him, you know what I'm saying? I believed in Aiden O'Connell, man. Was I a fan of Aiden O'Connell, I like, out of her dude? I ain't gonna sit here and cap. No, no, no. I was not. Because I was so fucking stupid. I was enamored by the fucking, the fact that, oh man, we need a mobile quarterback or we need a motherfucker that can do both. And, you know, dumb shit. That be happening to me sometimes. But um, when we selected him in the fourth, of course, I looked him up, seen what he was about. I'm not gonna cap, especially when Josh McDaniels came out and said that he reminds him of Tom Brady. Motherfucker, you've been working with for 20 years. Or he said his release reminds him of Tom Brady or some shit like that. It definitely was. It definitely had me intrigued, so I went and checked him out. Then I see Tom Brady. I'm not gonna say I seen Tom Brady, but I definitely saw potential to be a good starting fucking quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Potentially great starting quarterback. Um, I might be on a limb, going out on a limb saying this, because I ain't heard nobody else really say this, but he, his pocket presence kind of reminds me of Ben Roethlisberger. 
He's like a big Ben. He's like a big, elusive motherfucker. Like, he, he like, like and, he's, and he's accurate. He can get the ball down the field. He's always keeping his eyes down the field. He, his release is quick. He, his release is a little bit faster than, than big Ben's to me. But he just, he just like, yo, he, he's this, this big ass motherfucker. You just can't tackle. You know what I'm saying? And he's smart. Like, so that's what I thought. That's, that's what I, that's what he reminded me of. So yesterday when we saw this motherfucker play, I'm like, damn. This motherfucker is good. This motherfucker is, he was not, bro, he was literally in, he did not look like a fucking rookie, bro. He did not look like no fucking rookie. This motherfucker just came out. Nobody was rattled. Nobody was tripping over themselves. We didn't have no mishaps, no nothing, bro. Like, this motherfucker looked the part, bro. And it was kind of strange seeing him with the four on, though. I don't like that shit. I'm not going to cap. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's fucking corny. On on the on the organ on the, on the organization on the organization's part. That's fucking corny, bro. You should you could have gave that man another fucking jersey. You ain't had to do Derek Carr like that, bro. That's fucking that's stupid as fuck. You already know what time it is, and that and y'all gonna just give this dude number four. That, that's that's dumb. That's dumb. But it is what it is, you know. But it, it's just weird to see. It's just I just rather not see. You know what I'm saying? Like a number another number four right there right now. You know what I'm saying? Like. But it's cool. It's cool. But he was out there balling. The motherfucker didn't bring no shame to that motherfucker. That's for sure. He went out there and balled his ass off. I'm not going to cap. He did. He did. He did what he was supposed to do. I was thoroughly impressed with motherfucking Aiden O'Connell. Even when he even when he was about to, he was about to take a sack, a motherfucker came off the edge and was about to kill this motherfucker. And just like this Big Ben shit that I'm telling y'all about, he's like, he, he just... He pump faked this motherfucker, did some weird ass little, I don't know, some weird ass little step move for what he did. And he, he broke up out that motherfucker, threw the ball away. Ended up being a penalty and they, and they moved the chains. Bro, that's a rookie, fourth round rookie. Out of all the other rookie quarterbacks we don't watch this week. Boy. <laughs> Boy. Outside of DTR, I'm like, yo, we might have something, bruh. We might have something. I'm not going to cap. Let him, let him get some more reps in. That was the first preseason game, so I ain't going to get too crazy. But it, it, it's it's looking like bruh know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing a little bit. And I can only imagine what he would look like with the actual starters. So he was accurate as fuck. He, he can get the ball down the field. That shit in Trey Tucker, that Trey Tucker dropped, he, it, it didn't, it wasn't because of Aiden O'Connell. He put that motherfucker right into his fucking hands, bro. And it just, I guess the motherfucker was just going too fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I'm just happy to see some Raider football back on the motherfucking TV. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, I'm happy to be back on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Kicking it with all y'all doing this shit. You know what I mean? Coming back and doing all these, these reviews. I'm going to start doing the, the uh, previews and all that shit when the regular season pop. But right now, I'm going to give y'all the reactions and what I saw in the preseason from my uh, my evaluations as far as that's concerned. But, hey, man, it's good to be back. Shout out to all the Raider content creators. Shout out to all the Raider Nation. Shout out to everybody out there that's showing love and support. And, yeah, man, I'm going to be out here. I'm, I'm going to be back next week for the uh, Rams game. You know what I'm saying? Talking about that. And uh, hopefully Zamir White can show us something. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully these running backs can do something. Because it ain't looking too greasy right now with that position, bro. So, anyways, man. Let me get up on out of here. I'll holler at y'all, man. Come on.